If you're going to come and film on the Ayrshire coastline, then uh, there's only one place that this video can start from. Wow, this place is incredible. Presswick Golf Club, uh, the golf course where they played the very first Open Championship back in 1860. And seriously, it's so impressive. Unfortunately, I'm not playing here this week, but I need to come and have a look. This is the first tee that they play from now, but it was far different back in 1860. I'm gonna take you to what was the start of the Open Championship, the first tee, and uh, it was a par six. But oh my word, how good does that look out there? I'm already planning a trip back. So this is the plaque to commemorate that first tee shot. Uh, first hole, it's 578 yards. First Open Championship, October 1860, 17th of October. They played straight down there, as I understand, uh, in what was, like I said, a par six. And uh, Willie Park managed to find his way around and bag that fir first claret jug. Um, you can almost, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's such, to, to come to a place like this and that, that sense of, uh, history in terms of the game of golf is incredible for me the idea of these videos is trying to give you a flavor and a feel for what i've experienced and the great thing is about this trip and the one in east lothian last week was that all the courses i'm playing i've never played before so for me hopefully i can relay my exact emotion my exact thoughts on uh, on how i think the course is playing um, no preconceived ideas and i really like that Is there any bad golf club in Scotland? That's my first impression. It's like you drive round over that hill and uh, again, it just looks awesome. I can't wait to get out there. Scotland, have you got any bad golf courses? I've not seen any yet. Well, so we bet Drake or Drake, but uh, these courses in Scotland are so good that uh, you don't need sunshine. And it's part of the it's part of the charm, isn't it? A bit of wind, bit of breeze, bit of rain. That's a challenge. We've all we all watch it on the telly. Great Open Championship venues and these links courses. They've always got a bit of uh, sort of the low lying mist. It adds to the drama. It adds to the views. I think it's, can I add to the uh, fairway? Yep, I can. I'm a bit cutty one, but it's down the middle. I'm on away on the Ayrshire coastline. Great feel this place has got about it. Got to go, has it? Oh no! Maybe that's why I like it here. Having a few good shots. Church steeple in the background. Clubhouse to the left. Railway line going down that left-hand side as well. Birdie put coming up. I mean, is there anything else you can ask for in life? And people are moaning there might be a bit of a drizzle of rain. Come on. Right. Greens look pure. Absolutely. So no excuses, and Come on, let's have a birdie early doors. Oh, never mind birdie, I'll be lucky if I make power on the way back. They're pretty neck, they're lively. I've missed it. I've three putted. Three putted and still smiling, which is fantastic. But that flipping neck, them greens are pure roll and the pace in them, delightful. Even though I missed. How about that for a shot? 
I thought I'd be suffering from jet lag today, but um, straight out of the blocks. I'm bound to, uh, my mood will change shortly, no doubt. But for the minute, I'm smiling. A lot. Do you know what, I don't think I've ever fell in love with a golf course so much and after playing so few holes. Uh, well, this is so nice. Have it an absolute peach of a three iron. At 80 yard in, nothing to go left or we're gone. And I say that with a bit of a smile on my face. Is it been too cautious? Get up, get up. Oh, come on ball. Do you know what? It all helps when you're playing well, but uh, seriously, look at that. Wall to the left, bail out on the right. You don't want to go there because you're into the land of nowhere. And uh, anything too far left, and you're catching a train to Glasgow. I'd take a little bit longer to have a look at this because uh, they're very pacey. We've had a bit of rain this morning, so yeah. Bit of sun on these, and these things would be like lightning. Definitely swing off the left. Is that too much? Go on ball, go on ball, go, oh! Just a little bit on the high side. That would have been a nice birdie. <laughs> some of my kind of uh, my thoughts early doors absolutely blew me away to be honest with you it's a real real good track and the way I describe it is exactly what you'd expect to experience from a Scottish golf course I think that's the the, the, the biggest compliment I can give it um, and again when in the clubhouse before we started very very friendly as are so many of the people here um, in Scotland full stop very welcoming um, really make you feel uh, well, like a member almost, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no differentials whatsoever. Right, I've just missed the green to the side of 10 and uh, there's never a right side to miss a green, but this doesn't look great. A severe slope, um, yeah, running away from me. I'm choosing, and I don't know what the right shot is, I'm choosing to try and uh, pop up a lob wedge. Land it soft. <laughs> oh, go on, release ball. Ah, oh, it's released actually. You know, yeah, it has. It's, that was pin high. It needs to be further to the right. So perhaps a right shot to play, but it needs to be a bit higher on the bank to this right hand side and slope in. Staying in Troon for a few days in the South Beach Hotel and uh, I've got to say Stuart and his friendly team were fantastic hosts. Uh, there's a friendly atmosphere, great food and uh, I've got to say I'll be back soon Stuart. Well, i just come through to the 15th, uh, real um, interesting old age, just seen that chip come up and back off the slope. There's some incredible uh, 
I don't say quirkiness, but there's a certain, you, you need to know your way around this course and shots and into that type of green. Uh, a bit of course knowledge is great to have. Uh, but hopefully I've gone a bit quiet the last few holes because I got so engrossed with playing the course myself. Uh, we've got the uh, steam train, or the steam train, the train is on its way past. That's on its way or into Glasgow, I'm not sure which. Right, anyway, where are we? 3 iron, 338 yards, stroke index 8. I think the 3 iron quite good and fine in fairway, so 3 iron it is. Not the longest of tracks, but all about getting the ball in position. So that's probably the worst 3 iron of it today, but it's down there. And it's just about held onto the right hand side of the fairway. I just wanted to switch the camera back on because I mentioned, yeah, it was the worst three iron of this. I built that up way too much. I've just hung on on that right hand side and got away with it. But I think it's a point to mention that there's a bit of generosity here in terms of the fairways and uh, there's a bit of room, plenty wide enough. And I think that's important. You know, we're not here at the end of the day to play open championship qualifying every week so you know let, let's play some realistic golf and it's been sociable enough in this it, it, i've got away with a few and it lets me carry on enjoying my game um there's plenty of other elements to catch it out and we've left a fair bit in but uh, at least we're still we're not in that either right 17 is one tough golf hole and uh I don't mind admitting i've been three off the tee so this is uh well this was a decent drive it's extremely tight and uh that's oh, beautiful to be honest with you but yeah you need to know where you are off the tee oh that's second time round. let's just tuck down the left a bit sit down we might have just got front left but yeah what a great golf hole 17 is but plenty tough enough oh what an amazing start to a uh, golf trip Ayrshire uh, and Irvine Bogside certainly not disappointed it's been a really special day uh, to start things off at uh, Presswick which is uh, where it all started off in terms of the Open Championship it was a real special start to the day and then to get here the rain stopped all uh, everything fell into place and, and I actually hit the ball quite well as uh, which is always nice but what a golf course seriously I love it um, a few holes you'd like to know your way around a bit in terms of what I just spoke about on 17 um, but a, a top, top class uh, golf course. And uh, if this is the taste of things to come, then roll on the next few days. And uh, I'll finish off playing 18 and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Or soon, anyway. I'll be back on the golf course tomorrow.